Regret. Karen Brady leaks UK Senate veto. Harry asking to return to Royal as 90% of Brits lose interest in the Sussexes. Karen Brady believes it was a tragedy Prince Harry has no intention of visiting King Charles or Prince William after reports claim no meetings have been arranged by either party. Prince Harry has regretfully made a mistake while being estranged from Prince William and King Charles, according to Karen Brady. The Apprentice star has addressed claims that the Duke of Sussex will return to Britain on the eve of the first anniversary of the Queen's death, but will not be accompanied by his wife, Meghan Markle. The businesswoman has suggested that it is sad, and a sad situation all around, adding that there is no denying that Harry behaved in ways that many of us find hard to understand. While she believed that some people may assume he has brought it on entirely by himself, the whole saga is ultimately difficult to witness. Writing in her latest column for The Sun, Karen wrote, But there is still something tragic about the fact that when Harry returns to Britain on the eve of the first anniversary of the Queen's death, he is not planning to see King Charles nor Prince William, nor will he be accompanied by his wife Meghan. According to reports, Harry will be making an appearance at an event for charity, Well Child, where Karen is also an ambassador. To her disbelief, she admittedly could understand the ongoing family rift, as she questioned if Harry ever yearned to be a part of his brother and father's lives ever again. It just seems sad to me, nor will he be accompanied by his wife Megan. According to reports, Harry will be making an appearance at an event for charity at Wellchild, where Karen is also an ambassador. But to her disbelief, she admittedly could understand everything. It just seems very sad. I guess the big question is, can Harry ever come back from this? The Duke of Sussex is set to fly out from California to London to make an appearance at an event for the charity Well Child, celebrating the achievements and resilience of seriously ill youngsters. The award ceremony will take place just the day before the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's passing on September 8th. Prince Harry is second-guessing his impulsive decision to quit the royal family. The Duke of Sussex stepped down from his position as a working royal alongside his wife Meghan Markle in 2020 and moved to California with their two children in hopes of living a more private life. Tom Quinn, author of Gilded Youth, an intimate history of growing up in the royal family, has now suggested that the former royal has begun to regret the decisions to let go of his title at the whim of the moment. And though Quinn doubled down on Harry's claims about being subject to horrible treatment during his time in the UK, the expert reflected on his uncertain future, which voids him of his connection to the royal family. Quote, in despair and elsewhere, Harry's made it very clear he feels horribly, badly treated, Quinn shared with the Daily Express. But I think he's already beginning to regret it because he understands the value of being a member of the royal family. As someone who worked for Harry when they were at Windsor at Frogmore, what are they going to do when people lose interest in all the complaining? What happens when the complaining has to stop? What positive role can he have as a royal? Quinn's prediction comes on the heels of unfortunate few months for Harry and Meghan, who are currently knuckling down to salvage their media empire.